Guten Morgen. We're gonna start this with a little update on the fish tank. You know, I bought those fish and corals the other day. Right there is my new clownfish. He's inside the cone of the anemone, which is a good thing. You want the clownfish to feel comfortable while they actually live inside the anemone, just like the movie Nemo. I don't know what's going on with my luck with the sand sifting sea stars, but it seems like I just can't get them to survive. Sand sifting sea stars should be like really durable. This is the red tuxedo urchin, which uh, you guys didn't see last time. I couldn't quite find him. My two red mini carpet anemones are really beautiful. And I think I stand corrected on this clam. It's actually a hippus clam. Thanks for the correction on the comment last night. Hulu and Lulu are a match made in heaven. Lulu used to be really nervous, hide behind the rocks, never go out. Her personality was extremely touchy. She was very touchy. People walk in the room, she'd hide immediately. Hulu, on the other hand, I saw her out and about uh, eating food, and so I think her personality might leak onto Lulu and maybe get Lulu a little bit more comfortable with roaming around the tank. See, Hulu's actually roaming around and Lulu's still afraid. Oh, there she is. Now the claim to fame on this tank in particular, the house tank, are the two big anemones. There's the carpet anemone here, and then the long tentacle anemone there. Sorry for those of you that don't like reefs tanks, but this is part of my daily vlog, so I'm gonna do something to the tank. Uh, this is called the Hulk. He's green, he's angry, and if any fish gets in there, he actually destroys them and eats them. We call him the Hulk. This is Bob. Bob's peaceful, likes reggae music, and has uh, dreadlocks. But the problem is that the Hulk moves around the tank and takes over the Bob's domain. So I'm gonna have to move Bob to this corner of the tank here so that maybe he can settle into his own area. Hulk can have his area until the Hulk decides that he wants Bob's area and then moves Bob out again. That Bob is literally trying to eject himself. This part of an anemone here is called a foot and the foot digs into the sand and should sit on the bottom of your tank. They do this when they really are frustrated with their current circumstance and they want to get out of town. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna help him. And I'll move him to a place where I think he will be a little bit more comfortable. Then I'm gonna do some trike stuff. I'm gonna ride around Ningbo and talk a little bit about comments on my last video, which were awesome. It's really nice. It's like a whole community developing around the, uh, the video I shot last night. So I wanna move him from here over to the back here. So I'm gonna dig a little hole. Hopefully he can whittle his way down. See, that's the foot. So I'll put him over in the corner, and then hopefully the Hulk here will become big and beautiful, and Bob will become big and beautiful, and everybody will live happily ever after. Okay, da. Why are you yelling at Wawa? <laughs> I was eating a peach and she wants some. Now yeah. I finished the skin is there. So uh. she decided to jump onto the couch. She's not allowed on the couch. Get down. <laughs> I'm not gonna do, why are you looking at me? What do you think, I'm gonna fix it for you? Eat, shut your up. <laughs> shut your <up. laughs> There she goes. Okay, so I had a few people comment and say that they really like to see some of Ningbo. Uh, well, this isn't gonna be like a Ningbo focus show, but it will be like a Ningbo show because I'm gonna take the trike out for a ride, and I'm gonna take the drone as well. Uh, the drone was something else. Somebody was like, hey, why don't you fly the drone around? So I'm listening to your comments, and uh, we'll take a tour of Ningbo together. Nope, 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 yeah. For some of you guys out there, this is a long time coming. For the rest of you, you might not ever have seen my trike before. This is a recumbent trike, made in Germany, designed to take me around the world. Oh. 
So the mission today is to show you a little bit of Ningbo from the sky. severely rusty with this drone. I haven't flown it in like forever. Let's find somewhere a little bit more beautiful to, uh, to fly around. Because my flying technique sucks. Might as well be looking at something beautiful. <laughs> the arch enemy to the drone is rain. To a lesser extent, much less, wind. I mean, if it rains, you're probably gonna lose your drone. But if it's windy, these things are pretty powerful. They can take uh, quite a gust. But today it is blowing. For me, one of the major benefits to having a trike is for video i can be very comfortable recording from the seat which in itself is very comfortable so if i have the power to grab shots in a way that you wouldn't be able to if you were riding a bicycle drone decided to upgrade it won't go anywhere until it finishes well it's upgrading let me tell you a little bit about the trike I destroyed one trike a few years ago. I started my trip around the world riding a black Scorpion FS made in a place called Criftel. And I got hit by a truck uh, on a lonely Chinese highway. I'll send you a picture of it. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Does it shift and zone huh? I'll have time today to go to uh, every place in Ningbo that's notable. So today I'll start with Yinjo. So uh, I'm gonna ride around a few places in Yinjo, take some video, and then uh, it'll be just a little piece. Okay, so I picked up another side bag and my Jayo flag. These flags were made by a company in uh, Oregon called T-Cycle. Custom made for me, pretty awesome. They call this area of uh, Ningbo sort of like mini Manhattan. You can see why. That's kind of like the Chrysler building. I'm gonna get a coffee and then continue. Thanks. Double fisting. Oh, I'm really surprised at how uh, my drone piloting skills have waned. I think it's a confidence issue. You gotta be confident when you fly these things, otherwise you're gonna run them into a building and lose the whole rig. It's nice to get on the trike though again. It's like sitting in a recliner. 
you know, you're pedaling with your legs, but everything else is really relaxed. Maybe this weekend I'll ride around the lake, bring the drone. The one thing I have wanted to perfect is riding and drone flying at the same time so that I can get me riding on the road with the drone kind of flying over. I don't know if I'm quite confident for that yet. It's so fun flying, I think. But I think I might have to put the stop on flying for today. That is a pretty nasty storm. Drone's all packed up. I have my coffee. It's time to head out. I gotta pick up my trailer so I can take some stuff to the office tomorrow. One of the coolest things about my trike is the trailer. It's extremely unique. I wanted security, portability, durability and brakes <laughs> and it has all of those but it's, it's a bit heavy this is my trailer it's totally gyoed out gyo 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 It's the first time I've ridden with the trailer in a while. Sort of like a family reunion. Better hurry though. The weather's coming. I, I ran through three trailers. I destroyed them. Broke every one to pieces. So I kind of figured I'm gonna have to spend some money if I want a trailer that's gonna survive the way I treat it. One of the best things about this trike is the reaction you get from people around you. Just non-stop smiles. A lot of times the smiles are coming from the middle of the road, which is dangerous. Cars are stopping to take pictures and things. It's funny. There was a mother and three kids on that e-bike that passed us by. They load them up. Forgot how fun this is. I'm gonna have to continue riding. I hadn't ridden in such a long time. I miss it. I don't wanna make it a too early assumption, but I would have to say that the Canon G7X is a great trike camera. It autofocuses, allows you to get a little bit more shot than the GoPro. The GoPro is great but it's like a one trick pony. It only has that wide angle shot. You can't really adjust any factors and you really can't point and shoot where you want on the fly. You have to trust it's capturing what you want to capture. Here, I'm looking at the screen. I can see what I'm getting. It's great. And we have made it home before the rain. Hey, hello. Hello. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I would say that the most used word by Chinese elderly, like taxi drivers and stuff that want to show their English, is hello and okay. Hello! Okay! <sighs> what a nice ride. And with that, I think I'm going to end it. Last night I was up until 3 in the morning finishing the last one. I think this is enough to do a vlog on. You don't need to see me have dinner and all that other stuff, so I'm going to end it right now. 
thanks for coming on the first ride in a long time see you tomorrow if you enjoyed this video please subscribe i'll put out one every day uh, at least i'll try to pull out one every day if you have any comments anything you'd like to know put it in the comments below like for example today uh, a few people wanted to see the trike and they wanted to see the drone so i put both of those in anyways see you later Bye bye